In the movies, Dr. Frankenstein uses electricity to bring his monsters to life. For your car, it's the same thing. Hey, I'm Rex Roy with AOL Autos, and today we're gonna to talk about automotive batteries. Now, most new cars come with high quality batteries that'll last anywhere from three to five years. So most people will never experience a dead battery in a car that won't start. But if that happens, like you go to turn the key and you don't hear anything, or you hear a clicking sound, you got two options, an expensive road service call, or if you've got jumper cables, you can solve the problem for free, and I'll show you how. If you've never jump started a car, it can be intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. If you don't own cables, here's what to look for. Longer cables reach farther, that's more convenient. Get cables that are heavy because they'll carry more electricity. And I really like cables that have the polarity clearly marked, red and black. So what does jump starting do? Well, the jumper cables physically connect the posts of a live battery to the posts of a dead battery. But how do you know what cable goes where? That's what comes next. Red is positive, black is negative. So, when you're connecting things up, it's red to red and black to black. If you get it wrong, the car won't start. But what's worse, if you mix up the cables, you might fry some expensive electronics in your vehicle, like the engine's computer, and it won't be covered under warranty. Now, two tips for jumping. The first tip is, always hook up the dead battery first. That way there's less amperage running through the cables, just in case these two live ends touch. And that's where tip two comes in. To keep these two apart, it's good to have an extra set of hands. Makes things a lot safer. After you get both batteries hooked up, start the donor car. That way, this car has as much electricity as possible to share with the dead car. Then attempt to fire up the car with the dead battery. Sometimes you'll need to let the battery build up some power. That can take 10 to 15 minutes. If the battery accepts the charge, you're good to go but sometimes the battery is just too far gone. In this case, you may need to replace the battery or have the entire electrical system checked to make sure there's not a more major problem. Now, if you wanna prevent a dead battery in the first place or extend the life of the battery you currently have, you might wanna try a battery reconditioner. This one happens to be the Extreme Charger from Pulse Tech Technologies, and it actually has a charging cycle that can recondition a battery and extend its life. But even if you use a product like this, batteries still won't last forever. And when you're shopping for a new battery, there's several things you need to look for. First, you need a battery that's designated SLI. That stands for Starting, Lights, and Ignition. Car batteries handle these three tasks. The SLI designation is different from a deep cycle battery like those used in boats and golf carts. Deep cycle batteries won't work very well in your car. Now check your vehicle's owner's manual for the proper specifications on your car's battery. And if you live where it's cold, don't go cheap on the cold cranking amps. Also, I don't recommend cheap off-brand batteries. Defects in those batteries can damage your car's electronics. Stick with names that you know, including reputable house brands like Duralast. But whatever battery you buy, get the newest one you can, because batteries age kind of like dogs, if you know what I mean. Now don't buy a battery that's more than seven months old. Because if you do, you'll be paying for performance that you're not getting. All right, that's what you need to know about batteries. I'm Rex Roy for AOL Autos.